Here's a good Thomas Sowell quote to kind of back up who he is. Please. I have never understood why it is greed to want to keep the money you have earned, but not greed to want to take somebody else's money. I love that one. Let's go. That's the best quote ever. He (laughs) finds a way to, again, to Stephen's description, use the words so carefully and precisely and never more than necessary. That is like one of the greatest skills in life. He nails it more than anybody I've, I've seen lately. And he doesn't convolute yeah. it. It's just no. specific just to the point. Fire yeah. every time. Yeah. Boom, fire. There's so many favorite like quotes. Is a good uh, Twitter actually to follow because they just repost a lot of his book, his book quotes. Uh, still to this day, I think the greatest interview that has not yet happened is Joe Rogan, Thomas Sowell. And oh. I know that I know oh that God. that's been thrown out there to Joe. So I don't know. Maybe we get him on. We got to no, find I a way. I want a debate. That's the I want a boss. debate yeah. between you know someone on the other side, which I think because like, you know have he's going to just sit seen, back and chuckle. Have you seen <laughs> like if if you go on YouTube though, you can see old Thomas Sowell debates, like 1970s Thomas Sowell. You know, like young and like infinite swag. And he's just dunking on like libs, just like absolutely dunking. And, and these are like uh, just that phrase alone is amazing. Just dunking on lib. And yeah. for context, he was a hardcore lib himself. He was, he was a Marxist. He was a Marxist. At one point. Yeah. So yeah. was Stephen, yeah. by the way, for for full disclosure. So was Stephen. And so was Mar- I. So was I. Marx- Marxist is a bit of a stretch, I was, but I was, I was certainly very I was sympathetic to the Bernie Sanders cause. Lib sympathizer. I would have voted for people like Bernie and Karen. Elizabeth? And oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was a <laughs> little lib. <laughs> It happens. It happens to the best of us. That's why I think that the beginning of the discussion with anybody with all of this stuff, regardless of, I think what I have learned from from politics is that ultimately all we're talking about is like, in many ways, you're looking at human psychology. And you learn that the beginning of the conversation has to start with like some level of understanding of the other person, some type of empathy. You're absolutely never going to get anywhere. And that's why nobody's getting anywhere in the discussions that take place in this day and age, especially online or in mainstream media and why trust of mainstream media is at an all time low. Nobody trusts anything anybody says anymore because they say diametrically completely opposite things that just and there's no attempts there's no attempt to build bridges there's no attempt to understand i get it i get it i was in that boat where i didn't want a bridge to be formed in my direction like i literally my mo my modus operandi was like nope i'm certain that this is what i believe anyone who doesn't believe this is an idiot actually let me take it further they're a racist they're they're a bigot they're all these things but what's really interesting is you start to grow up and you realize that the same dysfunction on both sides but lately the dysfunction is obviously more alarming on one and you don't get as much of that like labeling and hate occurring on the other side again i say this as someone who's a moderate centrist person. Uh, I, I don't have any disposition one way or the other, but that is pretty obvious that if you are not completely in the left and you are not fully willing to be indoctrinated and repeat the narrative, you're out.